Hey, my name is Ben Farmer and I'm making this video for Loudon Stern's Intro to Music Production class. This is for the week three assignment. The topic I want to cover here is creating and editing automation in Pro Tools 11. Thanks. Now, I'm going to play the beginning of this track I'm working on here for you. gets off to an okay start, but there's this sound that comes in right about here. I named it the bone rattle. I like it all right, but I want to create a kind of special effect for it, where it kind of bounces around the left and right stereo field while it's playing. I'm going to create this effect by automating the panning controls. You can see here in my mixing window, the bone rattle is a stereo track and the panning is separated in two controls, left and right. I'm gonna get kinda crazy here and automate both controls so they crisscross back and forth while the sound is playing. I need to enable the automation to record, which I do right here. It gives me a few options here. The important ones to us are touch and latch. The difference is mainly in what settings they revert to after you record new automation. We're going to use latch mode, which means the controls will latch to the last settings you record and stay there afterwards until you add further automation. I'm going to set playback right before the bone rattle comes in and then I'll go back to my mix window. Now, as I play back, I'm going to manipulate the panning controls and Pro Tools will uh, record the information. And now I'll do the right side panning. Now you can see them moving as I play back. Notice I did not use the overall record function in the global controls, just play. Now let's look at them in the editing window. Uh, below the track, I can choose to see the left panning. You can see the automation information here and edit it as well. What I'm going to do here is copy the automation and apply it to the sound when it happens again. Copy. Paste. Paste. Uh, and then I'm going to do it on the right side as well. And then I'll play and we'll listen to see this automated panning bouncing around the left and right stereo field. Well, there you go. I hope this demonstration is useful for understanding the creative possibilities with automation in Pro Tools 11. Please see my recap in the peer review assignment following the link, and thanks for watching.